Uh, I've got a pretty tough session out there today. How are you as well? You thought like you had a bit of a collision there with Harry? Yeah, fine. I think I'm um, just a bit tired, so I try to milk it as long as I could to give everyone a spell. Uh, yeah, our training has been a real emphasis. We've elevated the standards and the intent, I think, and I think watching there's a lot of contest work and we're hitting bodies because that's a, a really paramount part of AFL footy in the modern day. So I'm pretty happy with, with how we're going on field. Obviously, a lot of development and improvement, but I think people watching from the external would think there has been a lift in compared compared to previous years. So I think we've uh, had a really good start. I was going to say, does this feel like it's more intense this time of the year for you than in previous years? Uh, we're definitely probably getting into some more match play than we have previously. Um, that can be attributed to new philosophy um, of staff members, but also I think the playing group have made a really big emphasis on coming back ready to play footy straight away, particularly over the Chrissy period where it is tough because you want to spend time with your families, but it was also important for us all to catch up uh, away from the footy club and to be able to train and, and work on our skills. So, um, yeah, we're, we're in a good space, but there's still a lot of development left in our group and, and we're just trending upwards, I think, at the moment. Seemed to have a bit of a sort of chaotic element to it today. Is that the type of footy you're trying to acclimatise to? Oh, yeah, I just think with, with mixed teams of probably some senior players and some younger players and when everyone's tired and the game just naturally opens up a little bit. So I think what you see is more of a third, fourth quarter look of football there rather than the first 20 minutes of the game, which is, which is pretty tight and contested. So um, when people fatigue, it opened up a little bit and that's where you get to see the younger players really express themselves, which was um, really pleasing from a senior player point of view to see some young guys expressing themselves and, and showing their talent in front of everyone. So um, yeah, that was, that was good to see. Anyone in particular catch your eye today? Uh, well, obviously, Harley's a good player. <laughs> yeah, he, he can play footy. That's, um, everyone knows that. But I think yeah, a lot of young guys, Clay Hall, um, Tyrell Dewar, I think some of the things that he does as a half forward, Noah Long, um, we've got an abundance, Locke Rawlinson. So a lot of guys off the half forward line have, have been really impressive, I think. And, and they're the guys I work more closely with. So I'll probably notice them a little bit more because they're around me. But... Um, the depth of our midfield as well has been pleasing with some younger players really really pushing a case. That first 20 minutes of footy that Harley played, is that sort of a new level to what you've seen over the pre-season or is that what you've sort of come to expect from him? Uh, yeah, that's just Harley. Yeah, he's a, he's a good player. So um, he still has a lot of development left in his game, don't get me wrong, and around structures and stuff, but he just brings an instinctual flair to the game. And as an 18-year-old young man, like, he doesn't know any different and we want to keep bringing that out of him. Um, and uh, he goes pick one for a reason, so he's, he's a good player. Does he surprise you with some of the stuff he can do? No, nah, not really. I think maybe early in the pre-season, but um, it's more than just Harley. I think everyone, all the young players have really impressed me, and every year the guys that come in have probably been in gym programs a little bit longer through their state academies or waffle clubs, tack club clubs so they're all more physically developed so I look at them and think what I looked like when I came to the footy club and I was I was skinny and nowhere near ready to play senior footy and, and a lot of these guys are so I think just generally everyone that gets drafted comes in a more ready-made player than what, than what I did and, and guys in the past have obviously there's some outliers in that but yeah it's um apart from Harley like I think the whole first year and second year draft class have been really impressive. Matty Knight's now in charge of the forward line. How has that changed for you guys and what's he sort of brought different to structure you guys up or different to that sort of area of the ground? Yeah, he's been terrific. I mean, he's come from a system in Geelong and just for me personally, like he's worked with Jeremy Cameron, Tom Hawkins, some, some A-grade key forwards of, of our generation. So just to pick his brain, but also he's just really big on the contest fundamentals of footy and I think that's where the game is won and lost throughout the ground so um, he's great at challenging all of us so all of us aren't resting on our laurels we've got a lot of improvement individually and collectively as a group which is is challenged us and it is great when coaches can come in and say Mate, I need more from you in this area and, and really hold you to account so I'm really enjoying that from him. What's your biggest individual goal now that you're working with uh, I think I just need to build on last year in, in all areas. So I think although I played out the whole season, which was probably my goal last year, um, but I need to get more consistent at, at a high level. Like I want to be um, a really good top end forward in the competition and you need to you become that by year on year on year, being consistent and performing. And um, I'm not really big on goals in terms of I'll just kick 50 goals or whatever it is. That's not really how footy operates. I'm more focused on my processes. So... Um, I might do some really good things and have a bad day on the score sheet and I might have a shocker but kick five because I've 
got out the back and, and everyone's doing other hard work. So um, I'm just big on focusing on the processes of, of being a, a good competitive contested player and the rest kind of takes care of itself. What about as a team? Have you guys managed to sit down yet and, and had a, a benchmark that you'd like to achieve this year in terms of wins or anything like that? No, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think many clubs do do that. I just think everyone just wants to play at their optimal as much as they can and that, that statement, uh, process, not outcomes. Like we just want to improve in all facets of the game and potentially some game style things will change but we're not going in saying we want to win X amount of games this year because that also puts a ceiling on what you can achieve. Like we just want to win as many games as we can and be as competitive as much as possible. And it sounds very broad, but that's how we're heading into it. And with such a young group, we don't want them to think, oh, we only need to win this many games or we need to do this or that. Like we just want to get better every training session, every week, every day. And then when we do get to games, we just want to be a really tough team to play. And um, with that, you win games and you lose games. But if we're in games all the time, gives us an opportunity to, to continue to get better as a group. And that's what we're looking forward to heading forward. How do you feel placed to be that sort of team? I think sort of one month now until practice games. Do you yep. feel like you're on track to, to be that sort of team? Yeah, I mean, particularly in the past, like we did a lot of breakdown drills, but we wouldn't play full match play like we are now. So, I mean, we played 60 odd minutes today, half a game essentially, maybe three quarters of a game. And um, we still got another three or four weeks until we have our intra club and then we get into some match play stuff with other clubs. So it's just pleasing that we can start to tinker with how things actually look because in separate drills, you might get a perception of how you're going and then you put everything together and you have 36 guys hell for leather running at each other. It can change a little bit. So um, I've really enjoyed that aspect. And I mean, we're going to keep developing. We're a young, youthful group. I think. 20 old players under 21 years old so there's going to be a lot of improvement throughout the season and, and throughout the years of this group going forward so um, that's something I'm really excited about yeah. Elite Yo is someone you haven't really seen on the park too much for the last few seasons but he played a good chunk of match him today how have you seen his build despite that little interruption earlier in pre-season? Yeah Yo he's worked his backside off all off-season and pre-season I think he's someone that um has really wanted to do everything he can for the footy club on field and off field. And I think the last six months, how he's handled himself is, has been nothing short of exceptional. Like he was in here all the time in the off season, working as hard as he can. And that's why he's one of the, the best on field leaders we have at the footy club. And he's a great football, everyone knows that. But the intangibles that he can bring to the group as well is, is probably something we've missed. So um, it's great to see him out there and, and he looks really good, fit, strong. And his aggression is is unbelievable. Yeah, it's something he brings that not many other people can replicate. He and played a bit on Harley and sort of Luke Shuey coming out of retirement today during that gym. What's that lesson like for a young kid to play on probably two of your best midfielders in the past five years or so? Yeah, it's a good a good initiation. Um, it's funny when Boots gets the ball. It's, he thinks he's still a player and tries to to pull a kick, and we all get into him when he turns it over. So that's good fun. Um, but Yoey. Luke, Harley, I think all guys that are a high-end um, talent, they're really competitive and that's what everyone brings. And throughout the whole group, we want to really elevate the level of competitiveness week in, week out. I mean, every training session where we're fighting, we've got the scoreboard up, everyone wants to win. So um, I was happy to knock off Dugo's team in the last 20 minutes. So he owes me a coffee for that. Uh, but that's just the way we're heading as a footy club. Like, we want to be a competitive side and make it hard for everyone whenever we come up against them. Um, and we're a long way away from that with how we played last the last 24 months, really. So it's brick by brick, but um, I think we're heading in the right direction. Do you, Adam sat here a couple of weeks ago and said they're still, they're still looking for an identity as a club. Do you have any idea in terms of playing style what that identity might be yet for yourselves? Um, oh, it's a good question. I think the first identity that any successful club has, I mean, you look at guys, Collingwood, Brisbane, um, Geelong, uh, all the clubs that are playing deep into finals, like they're really good in the contest and they get field position. Like it's really hard to, to win games of footy when you're trying to rebound the ball out of your back line. So without getting into into too nitty gritty footy, I think you've got to be a good contest side. So that's something we're training really hard. And from there, I mean, the game kind of evolves and um, our internal game plan will stay internal. But I think most footy clubs will be focusing on that this time of year.